What's up guys, it's Criddle here from the Anime Ball Z team with another This Is. This time we are going to kick it to the curb as we go into an old school rough and tumble fighting anime in the form of Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple. Now this series actually goes by a number of different names, from Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple, to History, Strongest Disciple, Kenichi, and everything in between. But we don't have time to mess around with the names because we are going to get... Off the Tracks. So Kenichi is the story of Kenichi, a young high school student who is pathetically weak. He's just gotten to high school and he's decided he's going to change himself and become a stronger man. So he decides to join the judo club at his school. Needless to say, he does get his ass handed to him and becomes the little bitch of the class. But in trying to impress a girl by the name of Miyu, he manages to stumble upon a school of martial arts where he gains himself a number of teachers who are all going to train him in different styles of martial arts. From karate to judo to... Chinese Kenpo to Muay Thai and in weapons and stuff like that even though Kenichi doesn't want to use weapons but hey that's what happens. So this series is the story of Kenichi and his quest to become strong enough to protect Miyu who has been training in fighting in martial arts since she was a little kid so she is very much far superior to him and he's got a long way to go if he thinks he's going to catch up with the girl of his dreams. Can he and will he succeed? Who knows, but this series is amazing and you should definitely check it out. But enough about that sort of stuff, let's look at the characters as we look at... The Good The Bad And The Dubbers So Kenichi himself is voiced by Josh Greel, who is Koichi from Lime Barrels of Iron, Oxford from Soul Eater, and Itsuki from the Funimation dub of Initial D. Miyu is voiced by Carrie Savage, who is the voice of Satori Azuma from Bamboo Blade, Lizana from Fairy Tail, and Kaya from One Piece. Miyu's grandfather and the master of this dojo of amazing people is voiced by Robert Bruce Elliott. He is the voice of Whitebeard from One Piece, Bookman from D. Greyman, and Captain Ginyu from Dragon Ball Z Kai. Sakaki is voiced by Chris Sabat, the voice behind Dragon Ball Z, Elfman from Fairy Tail, and Zoro from One Piece. Shigure is voiced by Trina Nishimura, who is the voice of Millie Thompson from the Trigun Badlands Rumble movie that came out recently. By recently, I mean a few years ago, but that's beside the point. She is also Akira Takano from School Rumble and Chao Ling Shen from Negima. Akisame is voiced by Kent Williams, who is the voice of Bunta Fujiwara from Initial D, Father from Brotherhood, and Kuro from One Piece. And naturally, the obligatory mentions of Vic Banyana, who is the voice of Kensei Ma, the voice of Nagato from Naruto, as well as Ed Elric from Full Metal Alchemist, and of course, Mitsuhide Akechi from Sengoku Bizarro. So this is a really interesting series in the fact that it is a bit of an etchy series, but it is based in the whole line of the fighting genre. Kenichi himself does not like fighting girls, so that comes into play a fair bit, so it ends up being Miyu versus whatever girl decides to pick a fight with him on that specific day, because he doesn't think he should ever have to hurt a girl. The series is very interesting, but we obviously don't get the full run of the series, because the manga is still running, and the anime has finished a long time ago, so we really don't get to the far reaches of where this series goes. We really get most of the show to be about the Ragnarok arc. Um, which was a very early on one in the series and was dealt with very early on and we got a whole bunch of other really cool and dangerous opponents later on in the series. Fingers crossed that Kenichi will get a new anime run at some point which will hopefully do a Hunter x Hunter and actually cover more of the series. But until then, you know, we're going to have to stick with what we've got. This is a very good series. I give it a 7 out of 9 Straw Hats which seems to be my default because Essentially, it's not a perfect series because it isn't the complete series in one. If it was the entire run of the show, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 9 because it is a really good series. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still a very good fighting series. There's some really good technical elements to it, and it's definitely worth checking out if you're into the whole fighting genre of series. Anyway, for now, I'm Criddle. This has been Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple on another This Is, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.